What's up? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, leave that in there. Oh. Oil change in the Kubota BX23S. My tractor with which we are going to make some money tomorrow and we're behind on an oil change. First, I need to make sure this is right. It is. Okay. So, I'm going to be pulling this plug. All right, so I believe this is just over three quarts in the pan and I got a seven quart I mean, in the oil pan, and in the drain pan, I have a seven quart drain pan. Mm, you were nice with it. <clears throat> we warmed it up just a little bit. It's about done. There's no grease starts on the U joints that I can get to, I don't think. So now we tighten this back up. Now, listen, children, you do not need to go yanking all over this drain plug because you'll stretch the threads and it won't be able to tighten. And it won't seal. So, okay, now we're moving to that side to grab the oil filter. Here's the oil filter. I got the pan, the drain pan underneath it. And I gotta see if I can get a grip on it. Which I cannot. So, this is a trusty made in America oil filter wrench that I've had since I was probably 18. So now you watch the oil go down and make a mess. Okay, so now we want to. Drain this into here as much as we can. And then before we go pitching it, you always want to check that this gasket right here is on here on the oil filter that's going to go in the waste and not stuck to the engine, which that is the case. So we're good to go. Okay, this is the. I eat tractors. Cartridge oil filter, it says. And it's white. Whereas that other one was gray, so we'll be able to tell that we did it. It goes by hours, okay? You change your oil on these things by hours, but it's not bad. I think today's the 13th, mm -hmm. so we'll go 6, 13, 22, oil and filter changed. And you put a little bit of oil on the gasket. That helps it seal up against the engine. And, of course, I dripped it on the concrete, but that's okay because this concrete sealed and it wipes right up, you know? You know, you also All have good a pressure in the washer. I do have a pressure washer. An awesome pressure washer. Used for house washes, roof washes, and surface cleaning here at New Blake Construction. So come on. So now we have put the oil filter on we have tightened up the oil drain so now it's time to fill the oil. if I remember correctly there's 3.3 quarts so we'll find the fill and this says oil <laughs> I know it's crazy oh so now we gosh. open that up and we don't dump a bunch of debris down in there which looks like it wants to happen. So I'm gonna keep that cap for a second and I'm gonna grab a funnel. After we get the oil chain, this is what my dad's gonna make. Did you know that money actually grows on trees? Cause paper's made out of trees. And what is money made out of? Paper. Are you recording? Yeah. Yo. I'm <laughs> So I went and grabbed the filter. This is a transmission filter, I think it's called. Bright clean because my shop has been dual purpose wood shop slash mechanic shop slash welding shop. And then I'm gonna come out here to the grass. And I'm gonna do this, because I don't want any brake clean getting in my engine. It looks like you're mad. I am mad. And I'm gonna open this up. And there's a lot of dirt right around it that's just 
doing everything it can to fall inside of that engine. And we're not gonna let that happen. So I'm gonna set this guy here, okay? And then this is the engine oil, 15W40. Why don't you look up here with it? 1540 from Kubota. Matter of fact, Kubota tractor of the Tri-State in Florence, Kentucky. But Hashtag not sponsored. Kubota. Remember this thing said that it is how many, or I said how many quarts, Jack? Three. 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 Right. Three fifths. Well, this right here <laughs> is a gallon, which is how many quarts, Jack? I have Nobody no freaking knows. idea. You don't know how many quarts are in a gallon? They never have taught me that. Wait, two, four, wait. Layla, <laughs> quart, Q-U-A, quarter. <laughs> I'm only in, I just got into fourth. No, you're leaving this in. Aim, aim the camera. <laughs> Going into fourth How grade. many quarts are in a gallon? Two. Sixty-four. Isn't there four pints and two quarts? There's eight pints <laughs> and there's four quarts. <laughs> Layla it's already been, said no, four. It's been since fourth grade. This is the stuff. This is the sh stuff <laughs> you have to just have memorized in your life. Dad. No one needs to since fourth grade. Dad, I'm going into fourth grade. What do you expect from me? I expect you to know that there are four quarts in one gallon. Yeah. Yo. Yo. What color is that? Oh, my gosh. It's the color of money, baby. Yeah. Momstone. Copper tone, just like Jesus' skin. <laughs> it is. I said he was of copper tone, man. He's from the Middle East. No, he is from heaven. That too. Okay, that feels to me like it's pretty close. I might have even went over. And if you go over, guess what you gotta do? What? Drain it. Drain it from the bottom. Or you could just use it up. No, 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 you cannot. That is not correct. Just like two quarts in a gallon is not correct. I'm out here sweating for this. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Oh my gosh. One. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four. So I use one, two, three. Oh. Uh, I did not use enough. Okay, here we go. That back in there without knocking a bunch of dirt in. Where is right I here. see some This dirt. right here is three. And then we need 3.3, .3, so we'll go to there. So we'll just ease it on in and then. Set it back down on the table. Way too much, dude. That's about right. I want you to get this. <laughs> okay, we have a new cameraman, and that's me. Right, are we recording? Yes. Oil's been topped off, and uh, the lid is on, the filter's on, and the drain plug is capped. And nothing is leaking out of the bottom, so we're good. At least we think. Okay, so now I'm going to. Let this dude, let the glow plugs go for a second or two. Are those the glow plugs? And now we're gonna fire it up at idle and let that oil get through that we just put in. Ready? Look at those. We let the oil filter fill up, which is done by now. Set it off. Then take another paper towel, and here's the dipstick. I'm going here, and then I'm going to bring it out. And I'm going to wipe it off because the reading that's on there right now is meaningless. And I'll go back in, and right now it is uh, perfectly where it's supposed to be. So there's the high. Oh. And we are, can you get that, Jack? There's yep. the dot for the high, and we're about a two millimeters below it. Okay. So we'll wipe that off because it's been out in the air. I don't know if that matters. And we'll put this back in here, and we're done. The oil change. Do you like my cameraman skills? I don't know. I haven't seen the video yet. <laughs> You're going to hate it. All right, let's clean up. So, clean Layla, up. inside here, we're, there's a big old three-quart jug of... 
used motor oil down there and I don't want it to go all over the place. So I just want to do that and knock it over. Just cleaning this up a little bit with some brake clean. No big deal. It smells of oil. Smells of oil. You're a bright one. <laughs> oh, this is the part where it gets risky. Nope, I can already tell I spilled it. No! Imagine spilling oil. Oh, I've spilled gallons of it before. How? Kicked over a drain pan, pulled a drain plug, and... Did you quit or did you get fired? I've never been fired from a job. Not once in my entire life, Jack. Nice. I've been asked if I really wanted to be there, which is a cue that you're probably going to get canned, but it's never happened. Well, look at all that rain. Look at that cleanage. So that was one of the bigger things that we needed to do there. Uh, that was a... So that's how you do an oil change on a Kubota BX23S. Uh, this thing needs a little bit more maintenance. We'll grease it tomorrow before we work. I have to dig all that out. I don't feel like doing it tonight. It's starting to rain. It's 90% humidity and 93 degrees, 91 degrees. So we got a... Uh, it's uh, too hot to do anything. So the oil change was a little bit behind. By a little bit, I'm talking more like uh, oh, a few hours. So that's my fault. But, uh, you know, it happens.